Hello, students, and welcome to song number 32, Fur Elise by Ludwig van Beethoven. The first most important thing to get used to about this song is how to pronounce the name Fur Elise. Can you just say Fur Elise? Fur Elise. All right, there we go. Now we know the name of the song. We're going to start right at the top here, and there are just a few tricks to kind of get used to when we do this. So, if you will, let's zoom in to the top of the page, and we're going to start right up here with just these first five notes. Now, take a look at my hand. We're gonna go up here to E5, and I'm gonna put my fingers on A, B, C, D, and E. Can you play those five keys? And then the first five notes of the piece are E, D sharp, E, D sharp, and E. Now at the top of the page, I also have a D sharp labeled on the key, so you can see it on your paper if you have the printout or the book. And then we just have to make sure to count to five when we do that, because that's the first big mistake that students make when they play this. They go one, two, three, four, five, six, or they start on D sharp, do, 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 or they play seven, or they only play three or four. We just want to play five. One, two, three, four, five. Got that okay? All right, and then let's go to the next four notes. B, D, C, A. And here are the two mistakes students make on this section. They get these four notes kind of confused. So let's take the two at a time. Go B, D, and then C, A. So if you get the right order of notes, that's the first thing. The last thing that students skip is they don't count to three on this A. So B, D, C, A, hold, hold. Got that okay? All right, now let's put those two sections together and that will make a quick kind of instant review of everything we have to do. So up here we start on E5 with our pinky and then ready, Go. One, two, three, four, five. B, D, C, A. Hold, hold. Got that okay? Okay, if that's good, let's go to the next section. Of course, on a video, you can always pause and practice. So if I'm going too fast, don't you worry. You just pause me. Okay, now this is middle C. So we're going to jump down to C4. C, E, A, B, hold, hold. Now, if you watch my hand for just a second, watch the two ways that you can do this. The most common way is to just start with the thumb on middle C. But the way I like to do it, and you might hate me for this, please don't hate me for this, I like to put my thumb on E and cross down to middle C. So C, E is pointer thumb, and then I just set my hand in E position, and I play A, B, like that. C, E, A, B, hold, hold. And I've got my own reasons for why I do that. I go into it more in the full version of the Fur Elise course, which has many other fun and interesting little secrets about how this piece uh, is composed by Beethoven, like what was going on when he put this together, which is kind of crazy sounding right now, but it's very, very interesting. And I won't get into all that because that's what the whole course is for. Okay, let's go to the next part here. And if you did do my finger pattern, then you'll see that we're still on E, right? We just had C, E, A, B, hold, hold. And now I'm still set on E, E, G sharp, B, C, hold, hold. Think you got that okay? Now there's one more note on page one, and that is this connector E that brings us to page two. It's gonna help us launch into page two. But before we do, let's play all eight of these right there. Starting from middle C, make sure you can do all of this. So however you like, thumb on C or thumb on E, probably thumb on C for most of you. C, E, A, B, Hold, hold, E, G sharp, B, C, hold, and there's one more hold right down there. Okay, that's page one. Now we play our middle E, 
and that launches us to the top of page two. I'm going to change my camera so we can see the whole first page. And then I'm going to do a quick jump to page two and watch how little it changes. The background is going to change, but watch these letters. See how most of it stayed exactly the same? Let's just go back and forth so you can try to spot the difference. You ever play that game, those little paper games, book games? Boop, 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 boop. Did you see that everything was exactly the same until after this letter E? Watch this. So that E was the same. And then the last three notes change. C, B, A. Watch again. See those three notes? And then, of course, it doesn't have the connector E. So let's take a look at page two. And since we're this far, it's going to be a lot faster to learn it. Let's start from the top, and we'll put the bigger sections together, starting jumping up to E5 again. You can see the numbers right there. E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A, hold, hold. And then the next part, we're going to jump down here. C, E, A, B, hold, hold. And then the last part that is just a little bit different is middle E. And then C, B, A, hold, hold, and then an eighth rest. So we just play nothing for a moment. And then you can see we have a repeat sign that's going to take us back to the very beginning of page one. And so we play pages one and two again. Let's take a look at both pages and then we'll try pages one and two from the beginning together without any drums or any rhythm because we want to just get a little bit of extra practice here. So here we go. From the start, go ahead and get your fingers ready on A, B, C, D, E, A position. And then we'll count to four. One, two, three, four. E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A, hold, hold, C, E, A, B, hold, hold, E, G sharp, B, C, hold, hold, E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A, hold, hold, C, E, A, B, hold, hold, E, C, B, A, hold, hold, rest and repeat, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A, hold, hold, C, E, A, B, hold, hold, E, G sharp, B, C, hold, hold, E, E, D sharp, E, D sharp, E, B, D, C, A, hold, hold, C, E sharp, A, B, hold, hold, E, C, B, A, hold, hold. And then another rest, and then we'd go on to pages three and four. But for right now, I want to show you one more thing, which uh, I think is super interesting. And I go into more detail on this about, about this particular piece in the full version of the course, because the full version of Furlease is much longer than the four pages we'll do in this. But the original score, or the original version that was published, uh, was published after Beethoven died, decades after Beethoven died. Somebody found it in his collection of music, and they didn't publish it with this E here. It was published several times in the same uh, sheet of music with a D, C, B, A. 
So I want to play that for you so you can hear how different it sounds from what we're used to with our modern, uh, with the modern version. But I believe that that probably wasn't a mistake because it's in there several times and because it makes the song sound sadder. And I think that that's why they originally thought it shouldn't be a D because they thought, why should the song be sad? But there are other reasons why this song should be sad, which I will not get into right now because I want you just to enjoy learning it. Uh, but if we listen from page two here, da, 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 da. doesn't that sound so different? They thought it was wrong. I don't think it's wrong, but since it's not the way that the song has mostly been taught for the last over hundred years, I'm going to keep it with an E here, but just know if you want to try it with a D C B A and see how that sounds. Okay. That's all we're going to do for this lesson. When you're ready, go on to the next two pages and let's be playful. Good job. Bye.